there truly are no words to describe what a mother can feel knowing that she, she's losing her child. Hannah, you and your mom recently moved here just a few months ago from New York in order to take advantage of our state's Death with Dignity Act. It is likely that it will hold on for a lengthy period of time while the cancer eats away at my brain. I'm Allie Madison reporting for My News One Vermont. The small town of Milton has recently grabbed national headlines due in part to my guest, Hannah Ryan. Hello, Hannah. Hi, Allie. And faithfully by her side, her mother, Roseanne Ryan. Mrs. Ryan. Hello, Allie. Hannah, how are you feeling today? Honestly? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a little nervous, well, for one. But um, it's, it's interesting because it changes every day. So some days, I'm fine, I can be with my mom, I can go for walks. And other days, it's, you know, it's a little harder. Why exactly are you sharing your story? I've been getting a lot of different reactions. What about my mom? What about my friends? What will people think of me if I choose to do this? And I think the most important thing is for someone to look at me, someone who's in my position, who's dying way before they're, way before they've been able to really live their life. And I want them to know, this is not a weak thing that I'm doing. Hannah, you announced a specific date on which you would be taking your life. How can you be so confident this will be the day? I'm not. When that day comes, if I am still able to do the things I enjoy, wait but I'm dying and it pains me to hear that you and others think that I'm taking my life I'm taking control of my death what would you like people to know to remember about Hannah Ryan I want people to remember me for the kind of person I am, not for how sick I am. I want them to know that I'm young. I'm, I'm ha I am happy. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't win in this. So I want someone to remember me as the girl who stood up for everyone else. Are you scared? Of course I am. I'm human. My daughter is a strong, brave woman who has made the limited amount of time she still has here one of purpose and meaning. Why not die naturally? If I chose palliative care, I could potentially develop a resistance to morphine and other medications, leaving me to lay there in pain. And my body is young and healthy, so it is likely that it will hold on for a lengthy period of time while the cancer eats away at my brain. Mrs. Ryan, do you ever wish, even for a moment, that Hannah would completely change her mind and decide to die naturally? My only wish is for her to have exactly what she wants, or whatever that is. What advice would you give to other mothers or other family members who might find themselves in your shoes? Nobody can know what this is like until you go through it. And as a parent, your job is to love your child. And I don't think it's any different than if your child were to live, that you have to trust that whatever their decisions are, 
that they're an individual and they're intelligent and they're strong and they have a right as human beings to choose their own path regardless of the circumstances. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's okay. How do you respond to critics who say your daughter is simply committing suicide? It's her life. It's her death, it's her choice.